you threw yourself on the dining chair stretching your tiring body holy crap it's already 11:30 you grumbled yet there is no sign of taehyung he left in very early morning what's taking him so long you mouthed before laying your head down on the table you squeezed your eyes shut then opened them wide in an effort to stay awake well what's making you worn out today the two little devils actually today taehyung's elder cousin brother left his twin sons on yours and taehyung's guardianship for two days so you have to babysit your nephew they are almost seven years old identical twin brothers and look exactly xerox copy of each other fortunately one of them wear glasses so you don't face problem while calling them they are very cute but also written version of living saturn There's no corner in whole house where they didn't broke things today. Now finally they are in deep slumber in their room while you are waiting for Taehyung's arrival. Stepping with shuffling steps, that scrubbed the floor. He made his way to the dining room as he noticed the lights were still switched on there, indicating you are there. He rolled his neck from side to side to lose in the king. He noticed you soundly sleeping in uncomfortable posture. He felt the sensation of peace just by seeing how your eyelashes were resting on your cheeks peacefully. He sat across you, staring how your hairs were gently stroking your face. Even if he never admit he loves the fact that you are always waiting for him and cared for him. He was eyeing at you for more than he should and suddenly his mobile rang. Shit, he cursed and dismissed the call. You flickered your eyes and raised your head. Oh, Taeyeon, when did you came? You rubbed your eyes and asked. Just a second ago, he lied. You stood up. You go and change. I'll heat your food in microwave. He nodded and left. He cut the steak and took it in his mouth, chewing on it. Are they both slept? He asked. Yeah, you yawned. Both of them didn't sleep until I told them tales. You added. You noticed his skin looks pale as his blood got drained off his body. He was sniffing his nose again and again. You don't seem well, all right? He nodded without glancing at you, but it's just tiredness. I'll be fine by morning. He stood up and wiped his mouth by tissue before leaving. You were feeling too hot, like sleeping beside a heater. Ah, uh, why is it too hot? I should increase the AC. You yawned, removing hair strands off your face as your hand slightly brushed against his arms. Your eyes narrowed. You gently touched his forehead and his body was burning up. Oh no, he has high fever. You slightly shake him. Taehyung, he weakly opened his eyes. Your whole body is burning up. See, I told you that you are not well, but you are always so stubborn. He slowly sat up. Can you please relax? He grumbled feebly. Relax? Are you serious? This happens because you never listen to me. Why and you stopped speaking? Their room is next to us. You will wake them up if you keep yelling at me like this," he said. "I'm not yelling at you. I was just you sighing. I'll be fine after taking pills. Fine. Let me get you some warm water and medicine. With you left." Uh, he felt dizziness due to kept sitting. He again laid down. Taehyung, you have to take these tablets. You helped him to sit. You positive that these are the right pills? He asked, and you nodded. Sure, I mean you can check again if just in case you gave me via. You cut it his word. Excuse me, I don't have those kinds of medicine. Moreover, why would I keep that pills with me? You said not believing as his personality just did a 180 degree flip. He took the medicines and laid down. You covered him with duvet. Have some rest. You removed his dark brown bangs off his face and touched his forehead. Still, you slowly mumbled and gawked at him sleeping calmly. Why are you burdening yourself? It's not like we are lacking of money. You sighed talking to yourself. You set his bangs on his forehead and backed off. I know you are going to shout at me like who the hell turned off my alarm? Why why did not you wake me up blah blah. But You need to rest. You sat and went towards the windows and closed the curtains so that sunlight cannot reach in. You came out of bathroom having a fresh shower. I that he is still in his dreamland. You glanced at the watch hanging on the wall showing 
7:50. You noticed him slowly getting up. Good morning, morning. He said in a deep husky voice. Did you sleep well? He nodded. I slept so well after a long time. A bright smile appeared on your face. Wait, eight? He almost shouted. Um, it's actually 7:55. You slightly smiled to loosen up the environment. He diverted his gaze on you. Seems like killing you by the glare. And then noticed the closed curtains. You did this, didn't you? You took a deep breath, closing your eyes. Look, I know you're gonna be angry and now a abracadabra, but today I ain't letting you go. You need a freaking leave. You kept your eyes closed, being ready for his burst out, but he didn't say a single word. You slowly opened your eyes, saw him face palming himself. Go and get my mobile, iPad, and laptop. I need to inform you and have to attend online conference. He said and made his way towards the bathroom. Huh? Isn't he mad at me? You asked to yourself. Of course I am. You heard him from bathroom, causing you to slightly chuckle. Examine that area properly and decrease the value. I want accepting any excuses. He hung up the call. Suddenly the door swung open. You both looked at the entrance, standing singly. Good morning, Samson. That is uncle, and Sangmo. That is aunt. You smiled, seeing twins showing their cute dimple smile. Good morning, kids. You said cheerfully. How are you? Akio said, the one who wears glasses. I'm good, but your Samson had ill fever. They immediately looked at him with their big bumpy eyes, ran to him and hugged his waist, making him shock on a sudden interaction. Oma said that hugs feels good and endless. You giggled, seeing three of them. Tayong slightly smiled and rubbed their backs. Okay, boys. Thank you for all your love and affection. Now I'm surely be well for. He said, making two of them suppress their laughs. Yeah, Sangmo, please hug Samchon. He will feel better than Akio Saad. Uh, I think both of your hugs was very powerful, so he doesn't need mine. You smiled. Anyways, who wanna eat special blueberry muffin? Me, Akio, no Aoki. Damn it, today it was really necessary for me to be there. You heard him mumbling loud enough for you to listen. You rolled your eyes. You can at least ask me to take a leave, but why turn off the alarm? Now see what shit this Jew got himself into without my presence. He tedly spoke. Instead of thanks, here you are blaming me for all your problems. You asked for getting wrong data scam, etc. Is that what I should feel grateful for? He said sarcastically. Of course not. You scoffed, as if your so-called dear security had taken better care of you. You said, making him thought, what his security has to do with this. Well, yes, as she never turned my reminders off, he said in a teasing tone. Then why don't you go to her, you rude, ungrateful, stubborn man? He looked at you in disbelief. What did you say? Suddenly, cushion crashed on his. Hey, why not stop throwing another cushion attack? But he caught cushion this time. Listen, no, you just go to her and stay with her. You turned and crossed your hands over your chest. He stood from couch and turned. You were now facing him as his height was towering over you. Just realized you how short you are in front of him. You talked too much. You kept your eyes down, avoiding eye contact. Now why are not you looking at me, dear wife? He gently raised your chin. You two stared at each other. He unconsciously took a step closer, and to his surprise, you didn't move back. He started to lean closer. Sam Chon, you heard some footsteps coming to living room. Your eyes got widened, and you in unintentionally pushed him hard, causing him fall on couch. Aoki entered in. You looked at Taehyung apologetically for pushing him. Look, Aoki is stealing my strong robot. Aoki whimpered, making an angry pout. Ah, don't worry, I'll come with you. You suddenly peeked at Taehyung's direction. He seems too irritated. You bit your lower lip, feeling guilty, and left with Aoki. Plopped inside to it, ready to sleep. He didn't bother to switch off the lights, assuming that you are gonna do it. The door opened. Twins and you were standing there. He looked at three of you cluelessly. You cleared your throat. Um, actually, boys requested me that they want to sleep with us as tomorrow they are leaving, and you know I can't refuse their innocent eyes. So you agreed. You nodded. Twins glanced at each other and giggled. He raised his eyebrows. You think four of us can comfortably sleep on one bed? He asked. Ah, 
Samson, would you complain just like this when you will have kids like us? Akio said innocently. Gosh, who teach you these things, huh? Taehyung said in disbelief. They laughed cutely and jumped on bed, slipping inside David in between you and Taehyung. You covered them and packed their forehead. You were about to close the lights, but I... Ah, Sangmo, you hummed and turned. Are not you going to kiss Samson's cheek like Amma do to Appa before sleeping? You don't know what to say while they find your situation funny. Yes, yes, doing Sangmo. Akio joined. Uh, I guess I have done that already, right? You said. When Taehyung immediately spoke, showing confusion on his face. Oh, I did not. Okay, you went to Taehyung and quickly packed his right cheek and blacked off. Now sleep. You looked flushed and then you hurriedly turned the switches off.